Southeastern Europe is being battered by twin storms that have so far claimed the lives of nine people. Two storms, Fabien and Elsa, are leaving behind a trail of destruction in Spain, Portugal and southern France. On Sunday, Fabian hit the coast of northern Spain. It brought with it heavy rains and strong winds. Severe infrastructural damage has been reported in many parts of the country. In Galicia, almost 8,000 households were left in the dark after the storm hit. Authorities have asked residents to brace for wind speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour and waves as high as 30 feet. Seven people have lost their lives due to the storm so far in Spain alone. It's been a relentless assault on Spain in some ways. Storm Elsa first hit the country on the 18th of December and has since moved away to Britain now. But then Storm Fabian struck merely two days later on the 21st of December. On Fabian's radar is also southern France. Close to 110,000 households have been left without power. And train services between Bordeaux and Toulouse were suspended. Fifteen regions in France is that southwest have been placed on orange alert. Two casualties, meanwhile, have been reported in nearby Portugal. Storms Elsa caused much of the damage in Portugal. Close to 250 people were evacuated from central Portugal after water levels rose following heavy rains. Quid pro quo has become quite the catchword in diplomacy nowadays, but this time not in the United States of America. We're talking about the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or OIC, rewarding some of its member nations for giving the Kuala Lumpur summit, which is an alternative front to the OIC, a miss. The OIC has released a statement on India's internal matters now, and more specifically, they've expressed concerns over the citizenship law and the Ayodhya verdict that came out last month. Now, the timing of the statement is dubious to say the least. It comes merely after the Kuala Lumpur summit, days after it, a summit that Pakistan decided not to attend at the behest of Saudi Arabia. This new statement from the OIC peddles the narrative that Pakistan has been trying very hard to sell over the past few weeks. Even Imran Khan, the Prime Minister, tweeted about the citizenship law and the Ayodhya verdict. So the picture becomes clearer if these factors are not taken into account. Saudi Arabia is the de facto leader of the OIC. Indeed, it has become synonymous with the organization itself. So this new statement seems like Saudi's effort to reward a loyal Pakistan. A pat on the back for siding with them rather than Malaysia. And the Pakistani High Commission in India is circulating this statement to boost their propaganda. But the OIC's concern for the Muslim population seems to be based on political convenience. The body had nothing to say on the mass detention of the Uyghur Muslims in China. Neither was a statement released on the Yemen crisis. The Saudi-led coalition has been at the forefront of one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world in Yemen. But as expected, the OIC was mum on it. 